Hi guys, I'm officially starting on Luca's dresser makeover. I don't know if I've told you our baby's name yet. His name is Luca, but we're putting together his nursery. This is the last big thing that we're doing is this dresser makeover. I am completely following a blog that I found on Pinterest. I take zero creative credit for this dresser makeover. She's an absolute genius and I love what she did with her Ikea dresser. It's a little bit different than mine in terms of the actual bones of the dresser, but I'm following almost every other step exactly. So we got this Ikea dresser and we finished building this last night. Now it is in that black brown stain, but we're going to be adding molding to the front faces of the drawers and then we're going to paint it a matte black. We're using Black Magic by Sherman Williams, um, which I know seems a little bit extra to buy a black dresser and then paint the dresser black again. But first of all, I do not like the finish of this. It's a brown black finish. It's shiny and it looks like an Ikea piece of furniture. So I really want to paint it. I contemplated it for a while, but I want to show you guys what I got. I got all of this molding at Home Depot. It's, we're going to miter these using this uh, miter saw box. Just going to go with the color that she used, which is Black Magic by Sherman Williams. Also got two four inch rollers. Um, also got 220 grit sandpaper. We're going to sand it down just a little bit. I got this caulk that she used on the edges of the molding that she put on. Um, this is an extra step. You don't necessarily have to do it, but it makes all the difference in the world in the finished product. And then I got this bin primer. Everybody who redoes Ikea dressers or Ikea furniture recommends this primer because of the finish of the um, Ikea furniture. Apparently this is the best. So I went ahead and got that. I also got a speed square so that way we could measure perfectly straight on the face of the drawers. And then last but certainly not least, I got these knobs from Home Depot. I think they're so beautiful. Got the dresser behind me and then I'm just gonna work on cutting these so that way um, later on we can just sand and paint and then maybe in the next couple of days have this project done and then we can finish the nursery. I wanted to show you guys the progress. I haven't been filming too much because it's been slow as we figure out how we're gonna do this and a few of the different steps. Um, so my husband is the best and used the miter box to cut these pieces because it is so much harder than it looks. This thing, we don't have like a proper workbench to clamp it onto. So I tried and I lasted like five minutes. So he's the best and he's been cutting all of these pieces for me. Um, and then we just have a couple left to go. And then this is the frame molding that's going to go on the face of the drawers. So we're going to do that. Um, I'm about to sand down the dresser a little bit. And then as soon as we're done cutting the pieces, I'm going to tape up the molding and use some wood glue to attach it to the face of the drawers. And then once that's set and dry, we can paint the dresser and put on the knobs. I'm going to get started on sanding this dresser. We're going to finish cutting those up and then I will show you our progress. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't hey, look at me, man, what I become I've been running east Looking for something Digging I wanted to quickly show you guys the progress Jameson finished cutting all of these pieces for me. We used the miter saw box and did the 45 degree angle. I didn't measure it exactly. Um, we just kind of used one piece that we cut to size and used that as a guide. So we have all these and I laid them out to make sure that each square fit perfectly because it is so hard to get a good cut on that miter saw box. But this is what it looks like on the actual dresser. We are putting all the molding on this. I'm using this Gorilla Glue gun and these Gorilla Glue um, hot glue sticks and it is drying so fast. I'm gonna finish putting all the different pieces um, on these faces and then after that we're gonna prime it and paint it. I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep Since nine and nine What I thought was gone All alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way. Fair. 
set a toast full of lost old eyes And my crooked little heart That seems so rebellious Is falling apart right now I'm bleeding an easy kill Gonna leave it all behind I think it's time It is really early in the morning. I just finished the first coat of Sherman Williams Black Magic on this dresser. Um, I went ahead and did a pretty light coat because I didn't have the right brush, so it was gooping up a little bit in some of the corners. In the tutorial that I was following, she used a roller brush on the face of the drawers, and there's just no way. I guess I just... I don't love the roller brushes that she recommended. I didn't film me painting it because again, I did it at like 8 a.m. this morning before work, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like. I absolutely love the color. I'm gonna wait probably another hour for this to dry and then I'm gonna do a second coat and hopefully that's good enough. I might do a third coat on the face of the drawers and then we'll put the knobs on and we are done. I'm coming in for one of my last updates because we're almost done. I just finished the second coat, it's still drying a little bit on top, but I figured out how to work the roller. It was 100% user error, <laughs> so I ended up using the roller on the second coat, and it looks so freaking good. Hopefully by tonight we can put the doorknobs on, but I probably won't put any of his clothes in there until probably like two more days to let it fully dry, but this is what it's looking like right now, and then I will keep you guys updated whenever we put on the knobs and get it all finished and styled. Hi guys, I'm giving you a sneak peek of Luca's nursery, but first I wanted to show you what the dresser ended up looking like. I did not seal the dresser or anything like that, so I don't know if you can kind of see, but if you were to slide anything on the top of the dresser, it does uh, scuff it a little bit or get like dusty almost. It's kind of weird, but it honestly doesn't bother me because I really love the matte look. This is what it looks like with the knobs on, the paint fully dried. I love how matte this color is and it gives a tiny bit of a blue undertone, which I really love because he has different blue accents throughout his room. I feel like for an Ikea dresser makeover, it definitely looks like a splurge piece even though we didn't spend a ton of money on it that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys it's time for me to go burn all bridges